Hello, friend. During these unprecedented times, there is so much uncertainty in the dark days that lie before us. We as a collective whole, across these countless majestic lands that decorate our only world, will rise up to the challenges that face us down like a warden glaring at the rowdiest of inmates. An invisible threat who cares not of religion or political beliefs or borders that are meant to keep us safe, no. This enemy only feeds to live. But in return, we are our last chance at survival. Our hearts are heavy, but we will overcome. This too shall pass. As dark as the days are, as unforgiving as the shackles feel around the ankles of our minds, we will win the war, a war unlike any other, for this war is against an unseen foe that will not stop tearing this country apart until every one of us is stripped naked, screaming, begging for the right, the right to live. Before the light can rise over the darkness, the storm must send its boldest bolts of electric truth. Let it sink into your soul when it strikes. Look at each other, friends, neighbors, believers. Who are we? But a better question, where are we going? People are intrepid. We are meant to carry on. I was once addicted to crack cocaine. So I ask you, fellow Americans, the call to respond is now and the time to act is immediately. When the future shines upon us, how will you tell the story of our time to those too young to remember the pandemic of 2020? Will you be a hero or a villain? Will you be able to say, yes, I sleep comfortably at night? If the answer is no, then ask yourself, why? Holy shit, Ellis. Do you remember that pillow I ordered last year? Hello, Midnight Screamers. My name is Pigzai Kozlowski, and oh boy, do I have a terrifying tale for all of you on this dark and dangerous night. A cold, lost soul. A little girl. The victim of a crime that would become local legend. She has returned from beyond the grave in search of a living spirit willing to help unravel the mystery of the Ghost Girl. Before we begin our story, let me ask, how high are you right now? If you answer that question with, wait, what? Then you're good. If you didn't, catch up. This will be better if you're ripped. Speaking of ripped, I'll rip off my face. Yeah, Taco Bell be doing that shit. Cat Williams, your ass got laid the fuck out by that seventh grader. I gotta find me that video. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Mark. Look, ghost girl, I'll be straight with you right now. I ain't motherfucker you're looking for. For real. Park. Park. What, you wanna go play or some shit? Look, as you can see, my ass is busy. I ain't about to be messing with you. Then take your ass to the fucking park then. Buried there. Do I 
look like Scooby motherfucking do? I ain't gonna be solving your mystery, sorry. But you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to watch this bootleg of Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. So you need to go float your ass somewhere else. You know what? I got an idea. The dude in the apartment below me, he likes to play with ghosts. His name's Rubburn. Go tell him to take you to the park. Yep, go down there. That girl. Can you get that door, sweetie? Thanks. Yo, Burnout Benny, what's up, man? Uh, hey, Rugburn, long time, man. Yeah, it has. Look, I don't even care that you've been ghosting me. I just really would like to buy an ounce. Preferably a strain that makes me feel like I'm flying or in a coma. I just need something strong, man. Loopy Larry's trash weed is giving me nightmares. And apparently, Ellis banged his mom. Oh, wow. That sounds like a unique adventure. Unfortunately, I no longer deal in the ways of the devil. I found a reason to believe in. What are you talking about, Benny? I'm saying I found Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, man. What the fuck did you do that for? Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, you should be sorry. God damn it, man. Knock this shit off. I'm gonna run to the ATM and get cash. You find me some of that good weed. You didn't understand. I found a family, man. I found people who listen to me for the first time in my life. And they show me my capabilities, you know. Also, they teach me about how the government, led by a deep state of Hollywood elite pedophiles, are using the government buildings for satanic rituals. Pentagon. More like pentagram. Jesus Christ on the fucking cross. Did you join a cult, Benny? Did you join a cult, Benny? Yeah, you know what? I said too much. Later. Damn you, Burno Bunny. Damn you. Later that night. All right, Dr. Brownfur, it looks like they're meeting in this old abandoned elementary school. Who they be? They be a cult. The cult I was telling you about earlier. Who's that motherfucker in the bathrobe? Well, I was researching the origins, and the leader of this particular cult is a mysterious person named the Pillow Man. He wears a pillowcase over his head. What, like the Ku Klux Klan or some shit? No, more like Jason in Friday the 13th Part 2. But I'm sure he's racist as hell. So what are we hoping to achieve here? You're really focused tonight, Ellis. This is awesome. Like, you're really into this. No, not really. I'm actually probably going to take off here in a little bit, but I was just curious. Bored, really. Hey, I'll take what I can get. So, tonight we're going to bust this meeting up, expose the leader as a fraud, convince his followers that he's a fraud, then get Burn Up Benny to find us an ounce of weed that doesn't smell like a sloppy Joe fart. Yeah, it does smell like that. Good evening, friendly feathers. Welcome. Tonight we must address the progress of our Rotten Core initiative. Brother Hagurski, where are we at with the intel at Ground Zero? Oh yeah, uh, things are uh, looking real good. Yeah, it's a record store actually. Pine Vinyl, that's what it's called. I did some plumbing over there once, yeah. I didn't see any uh, pedo stuff there when I went, but it's just a clogged toilet. It was a bowl of green poop. Green poop, you say? Hmm, interesting. As we all know, the only thing that can make poop green is children's cereal. Maybe he had a shared breakfast with one of his victims. What the fuck? Is he saying that I'm a child molester because I eat cereal? Well, well, look at what we have here. Some guests. Who are you and why have you interrupted our proceedings? I'm the green pellet. This is Dr. Brownfur. Prepared. Well, you are not invited members, so we will be forced to escort you two out. Yeah, we will leave. But before we do, maybe your followers should see this. Womp. Here's your fearless leader snorting some coke. <laughs> oh, you silly sinner. My past is no secret. With the Lord, I have changed my life and found rescue from my past addictions. 
And here's your fearless leader snorting more coke off of a wiener. Womp. Again, my past is an open book. Speaking of open book, here's you pooping in a Bible. Womp. My past mistakes have been forgiven. My story is one of redemption. Here's your God-loving leader kicking a homeless man in the mouth. Womp. He was too close. Self-defense. Here's you uh, putting a bunch of puppies in some potato sacks and throwing them over a bridge. Womp. Don't you have any hobbies, green pellet? Yeah, red-headed porn. Who cares? Here's you, yesterday, murdering a woman with a crucifix. Womp. (coughs) Well, green pellet, what a strong case you have presented. Let's turn it over to the jury, shall we? What say you, my feathers? Is it me who is a blight to mankind? Or is it this devil-worshipping mass man who is running a child sex ring in his place of business and probably worked with Burisma in the summer of 2012? Who is guilty now? Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl Looks vinyl like my followers believe me. No surprise, though, as they never disappoint their leader. Ever. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's one more picture. Womp. Uh, what am I looking at? I don't understand. This is you, Michael Little, leaving a kid rock concert before the encore in a mask. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait a what? No. You never even made it to bow with a ba. No, he's lying. I would never abandon Brother Rock. Please, Feathers, believe me. You must believe. No No more Pillow Man. 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 Well, Dr. Brownfur, it looks like our work here is done. Yeah, I didn't even really know what we were doing. I know what any of this is. We just saved the world, Ellis. Again. Two days later. This new stuff from Burnout Benny is on fire. Yeah, it is. God, is it nice to get high again proper. What do you think happened to the pillow man? I'm assuming his uh, followers took care of him. I'll get you, Pine Final, if it's the last thing I do. (laughs) Pine Final. Hey, Ellis, what'd you end up getting with your stimulus check? Holy shit, are those McFlies? McFly 2.0s. These things self-dry as well, just like this new coat. Wow, that's awesome. What'd you get? Half a month's worth of HBO Max. Ooh, I might want that password. You got the glasses, too? Rugburn, Ellis, Hipster Cal, spending some of your stimulus money at Old Pine Vinyl, I see. All right. No, I didn't qualify, but even if I did, there isn't really anything here I'd actually want. We have over, like, 10,000 albums in stock. You're telling me not one They're all bad, but that's not why I'm here. I just received this letter at EarthMud. Fuck you. Okay. Don't you want to read it? No, not really. Is it something I need to know? If it's something I need to know, then maybe you should just fucking read it to me then. Dear Cal Hergersky, I understand that you and I share a common enemy. If you are interested in joining me in the eradication of this stain on our society, that's you, then meet me at the Lakewood Cemetery at midnight. Come alone. Sincerely, The Pillow Man. Do you have any idea what that's about? Yeah. I know what it's about. Regulators, round up. All right, Dr. Brownford, we must wait until the time is right and then we take him down once and for all. Yeah, this whole thing kind of seems like a you problem, not a me problem. So I think I'm going to bounce.
actually. So glad you could all meet me here. You must have so many questions. But before we begin, I want everyone to introduce themselves and tell us why you, too, hate James Rugburn. Oh, I could stay a little bit longer. This sounds fun. I once went on a date with Mr. Rugburn, and he mocked my appearance. Mocked your appearance? You're a beautiful woman. What is there to mock? Oh, your eye. I see now. He once tried to rob me at gunpoint. Yeah, with a fucking finger gun. He kept saying I have some disease or something. Weird. He forgot. He once shit his pants and then coughed corona at everyone. Inaccurate. It was just a really wet fart. He asked me to spank his privates with a spatula. Yeah, well, I think that's all we need to hear. Let's get him now. Whoa, 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 wait. Let me hear just a couple more. He called me a, a failed chauffeur. Sorry, James Corden. Nobody likes you. He colluded with the cook to get me hit with a frying pan when him and his friend were drunk at Applebee's. He said society was ready for me. He banged my mom. I didn't bang Loopy Larry's mom. Ellis did. Oh, shit. There you are. <laughs> Where are you, you heathen pieces of shit? If you come out, I promise not to make it last too long. <laughs> Where are you? Make them dig their own graves. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Who? What? Where am I? Who are you? I'm DJ. But you can call me the DJ. No! Get away from me, you evil spark! No! No! Oh, wow. DJ created some sort of release the ghost from the dead power. That's way better than my plan. What was your plan? I was going to shoot him in the forehead in the exact same spot a hundred times with my pelican until the police came. Cool. Hey, while the ghost take his ass to hell, do you want to smoke a bowl? Ellis? Now that is a great idea. <laughs> hey, later we can uh, watch Wonder Woman 84 on my HBO Max. I heard that's about some wishing rock. Is that true? Is that movie about a rock that you wish on? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to watch that. Nope. Mr. Nut Attack back with the number one best creepypasta that may actually be real. Coming in at the top spot is the upper Midwest legend of Mike Little, also known as the Pillow Man. It started many years ago with a CEO so corrupt with greed and power, he used his own successful pillow company to cover for a secret cult called the Friendly Feathers. The members of the cult turned against their evil leader after secrets about his life were uncovered by a local masked hero. Mr. Little went into hiding, vowing to get his revenge on his new arch nemesis, the Green Pellet. You know who I want to get revenge on, all those people who watch my channel but don't subscribe. Come on, guys. It would mean so much. The Pillow Man sightings didn't start again until the following year, when an event at the Lakewood Cemetery would go on to live in local legend. After a failed gun battle with the Green Pellet and Dr. Brownfur, the Pillow Man was taken out of this world by the souls raised from the dead bodies that lay beneath the ground. The DJ, a new hero unknown to the city until now, saved the world from the evil of Mike Little. Years have gone by since this con man turned monster was last seen being dragged into hell. Or did he never make it to hell? The question on my mind, and probably yours too, is... Will we ever see the Pillow Man again? 
hit me up in the comments if you totally want to meet the pillow man. And don't forget to hit that subscriber button. And reminder, this month on Patreon, we got new plushies. Hmm. I wonder if I can masturbate while scrolling through Twitter. Let's find out. Yeah, I can make that, baby. Yeah. I can make any breakfast food you can imagine. Yes. Oh, for sure. I don't personally, but I can fry them up. Yep. That too. Yep. Uh, yeah. Damn, you're talking about one breakfast, right? Or is this like meal prep for the whole week? It's kind of a lot. No, of course not, girl. I wasn't saying that not... I would never say that. Yeah. Yeah, I can make that. And Instagram is the winner. All right, girl. All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's knocking on the door at this hour? Who is it? It's me, your friend Ellis. Open up. I need to talk to you. Ellis, you say. Interesting. What is interesting? Oh, the fact that you're not Ellis. You're the pillow man possessing Ellis's body. What? Who is the pillow man? I'm your best friend, Ellis. Prove it. When is my birthday? May 1st. What is my middle name? Randall. What was my first crush? Cindy McAmara. Batman or Superman? Batman. Raisin Bran or Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes. When did I learn how to ride a bike? Six years old. Have I ever hit a home run? Two of them. What flavor malts do I get? Strawberry. What's my favorite TV show? Mr. Belvedere. You're the pillow man. What? What makes you think that? I clearly know a lot about you. What, was I wrong on the TV show question? You're wrong about all of them. All of them are wrong. Then why'd you keep asking me questions? Because Ellis probably wouldn't remember any of the answers either. Okay, fine. Let me in. If you can go into bodies, I'm assuming you can go through walls. So... Fine. Have, Have it, it your, your way. way. <laughs> what happened? Wait, did you put us in our costumes before chaining us to the wall? Yes. I wanted to make sure when the cops find your decaying bodies, they know exactly who it is. Look, I need to jump on this right now. I'm not really an integral part of any of this. Uh, I mean, we own a shop together, but after that, I mean, I think, you know, it'd be fine if you let me go, and then you just have him, right? This is definitely more his deal. I'm gonna bounce. What an absolutely awful friend. Oh, too late for that, Mr. Brownfur. It's Dr. Brownfur. Doctor of what exactly, fat white women? <laughs> What do you want, Pillow Man? I want you dead, plain and simple. I'm going to murder you both and then go to heaven to sit beside my lord. Hallelujah. Why us? What did we even do to you anyway? You destroyed my cult and used your friend DJ to murder me with ghosts. So why isn't DJ here? He's the one that did it, not us. What an absolutely awful friend. That's a good point. You guys wait here, and I'll bring him back so I can murder all three of you together. I'm assuming you have a plan? Oh, I've had it all along. DJ, come out. Hey guys, what's hanging? You guys are hanging. Did you take those weed gummies I told you to take? Yeah. Okay, good. Get us down. I can't. 
Why? You're high, right? Super smart brain, right? I'm not sure. DJ, did you eat those gummies I told you to eat? Yeah, but they tasted like batteries. DJ, why did they taste like batteries? I don't know. Son of a bitch. Did you eat batteries, DJ? Did you eat batteries, DJ? Yeah. Fuck. We're dead. No. Wait a minute. I have an idea, but I need you two to shut the fuck up and let me concentrate. Okay, Ellis. Alright, you're our last hope. And I wanted to apologize for laughing earlier at Pillow Man's white fat women joke. That was not cool. Well timed, but not okay. Shut the fuck up. I am shutting the fuck up. Boo! You're playing games with me. Good. I like games. Here's a little game I like playing called Kill the Idiots. Any last words? You ever hear that creepypasta? The one about the girl in the park? No. What would I care about a girl in a park? Oh, it's a fascinating tale. I'll tell you the quick version. Once there was a little girl who was buried in a park. Every night her spirit searches for the one responsible for her murder. Not until her murder, the man responsible, is dragged into the fiery pits of hell, will she ever be able to find rest in peace. Okay, so what? What does that have to do with me? Because she's about to finally get some rest. Hey, Pillow Man, go to hell. Hey, I do remember you. Hey, Ellis, what do I like more, Frosted Flakes or Raisin Bran? I have no idea. And that's because it's a trick question. I love, love, love Raisin Bran, but if I eat it, I have diarrhea for two days. So I eat Frosted Flakes more. But I prefer Raisin Bran. So if you are ever possessed again, that will be our security question. Okay? So the answer is Raisin Bran. Okay? Are you going to remember that? Probably not. Absolutely awful friend. Pine vinyl. Well, we made it. This place is huge. What if they have, like, actual Oompa Loompas? Like, rolling joints or something. How cool would that be? Not cool at all. If there are little miniature clowns running around this motherfucker, I ain't doing shit. Interesting. So little clowns are just as scary as big clowns. Scarier. Way scarier. By, like, a billion times. I get that. Because of the way they run? Yeah. Hello, welcome to Billy Bonga's Weed Factory or Funny Farm, whatever we call it. Follow me for the experience of a lifetime. Seems legit. Let's do it. All right, boys, before the tour starts, I just wanted to ask a few questions. Oh, both Ellis and I have been vaccinated, so we don't need to worry about anything like that. That wasn't my question, was it? My question was, do you think there are tears in heaven? Uh, what? Oh shit, it's Eric Clapton. Girl, like, freedom. <laughs>